It is the 28th of the 4th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I've got a lot going on, so I decided to make one on Saturday this week. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOP.net. People in southeast Colorado are cleaning up after damage. Uh, the five tornadoes struck early Friday morning. All of the tornadoes were southeast of Lamar. The National Weather Service says preliminary findings indicate five tornadoes touched down. Uh, two are in Prowers County, two in Kiowa County, and one in Bent County. Uh, they got a story out that I covered yesterday. Jellyfish-like organisms shut down California power plant. Uh, the workers of the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant received a very slimy surprise this week when they discovered hordes of jellyfish-like creatures clogging the structure, uh, leading to the shutdown of the plant. And they go on to basically the same story I told you last night. They also uh, attach uh, one, two, three, four, five different stories where jellyfish have actually clogged the intakes of nuclear reactors and they've had to shut the, the stations down due to jellyfish. Flash floods wreak havoc in Kenya. Seven children drowned in National Park. Weeks after the long rain season started, Kenyans are feeling the effects as flood re floods wreak havoc in most parts of the country. A church retreat turned tragic when seven youths drowned because of flo uh, flooding at the Hell's Gate National Park. baseball size hail reported in uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Viewers in uh, Sevier County have reported large hailstones, some as big as golf balls and baseballs, pounded the area Thursday afternoon. They got videos on that. Golf ball size hailstorm in South Carolina. Lightning and hail were reported in several parts of Anderson, uh, Oakney, and Pickens counties on Thursday. Then forecasters expect a few scattered storms today. And they're reporting ping pong size and half dollar size hail there. Freak storm sweeps across the Bahamas. Uh, several homes have been damaged. I'm sure this is part of the same thing that was hitting Haiti and the Dominican Republic. The National Emergency Management Agency uh, assessed the damage to homes yesterday after a freak storm tore the roof off at least one residence in southern New Providence during the early hours of Sunday. Record rainfall for one day seen in Portland, Maine. A record rainfall for Portland on Monday helped temper April's stretch of dry, fire-prone weather, uh, greening up places like Deering Oaks, but there are many legged downsides. Uh, inv invasive insects may crop up where they haven't been seen before. Uh, when it rains, it pours, right? Plastic trash in oceans may be vastly underestimated. An oceanographer noticed a disappearing act in which the surface of the ocean went from confetti col color to clear now suggests the wind may be driving large amounts of trash deeper into the sea. Along with all this huge amount of tsunami debris, it just keeps piling up and piling up. More freak weather. Tornado rips through farm in Essex, United Kingdom. Tornado ripped through Essex villages yesterday afternoon. This is Wednesday. A, former, a farmer told he was forced to hide in a shed while his wife took cover in a nearby workshop as the extreme weather hit the Hailstead and nearby White Ash Green. Severe gales and massive downpours to batter Britain over the weekend. So this is going on right now. Torrential rain driven by 60 mile an hour winds is set to wreak havoc across Britain this weekend. Over to the extinction protocol. 4.1 magnitude earthquake jolts Southern California. Magnitude 4.1 quake rattled Southern California on Saturday morning, but there were no reports of damage or inju injuries. Uh, the Trembler struck at 807 near DeVore, about 60 miles east of downtown Los Angeles, and it was felt across the, the region. Uh, got an Agenda 21 piece. The population time bomb. World needs to stabilize population and cut consumption, says Royal Society. So the one percenters are justifying their slow kill. Come here. Uh, I got 
east and west coast of Canada hit with, with earthquake swarms. Uh, 4.7 earthquakes struck about 200 kilometers west of Vancouver Island on Friday morning. Unexplained earthquake swarm in New Brunswick, Canada. That's that ongoing boom loud noises story. <coughs> and another 6.7 magnitude earthquake hits Tonga Trench east in the Pacific. Uh, that's up by uh, New Zealand and Australia, southern Pacific. And here's another story. Study finds warming speeding up rainfall cycle. An Australian study of the ocean salinity over the past 50 years have revealed a fingerprint showing that climate change has accelerated the rainfall cycle. Uh, researchers said on Friday, basically from all the snow and melt um, pouring into the oceans, it's changed the salinity of the oceans itself and the pH level which is producing more rain. And uh, basically if, where it's dry it's going to suck it out faster and where it's wet it's going to pour it down harder kind of thing. And that's about all new they've got going on tonight. The only other thing I wanted to, to cover on uh, RSOE today is uh, Mexican officials Wednesday said that there was a chance that the Popo volcano might become more active, but the local residents have no reason to worry. Just last week, uh, Mexican's National Center for Disaster Prevention raised the alert level for the volcano to its third highest rating. On Wednesday, the center director said there was a slight chance that the walls of the volcano may erode due to volcanic activity, but said it was unlikely. The, civilian, the Civil Protection Service said people living in the area should not be alarmed and authorities are prepared if the volcano activity increases. Uh, the volcano's last eruption was in 2000. So don't worry, folks. Everything's perfectly under control. I got another story on the, uh, the total... Um, the Elgin gas leak off of Scotland. Total making progress as Elgin gas leak. Uh, here's the official story. Significant steps have been taken to stop the natural gas leak of the Elgin platform off the coast of Scotland, French energy company Total said. Uh, Total in March discovered a natural gas leak, blah, blah, blah. Off Right around 1.2 million cubic feet per day of gas is the official release total. And uh, Total announced that they installed a diverter that will redirect leaking natural gas away from a wellhead to ensure safety during the well intervention operation. Engineers only made two trips to the platform this week because of the inclement of weather. They were able to equip for a well intervention along with installing a diverter during those visits, Total said. And uh, Scottish authorities conducted a chemical and sediment testing from sites two miles from the Elgin platform said they found no direct marine contamination from the natural gas leak. The company said no, gas, no natural gas is leaking directly into the water. But uh, again, we can't believe it, everything that they tell us, now can we? Over to E&E &E and the radiation stuff. Uh, revelations on nuclear plants sound warning. Harvard study reveals large-scale radiation releases just outside major U.S. cities that lasted for decades. Surely this could not have happened, but apparently it did. Now this is a study done in the state of Massachusetts. There's a couple of reactors uh, that were ongoing up to like 1984 uh, that were releasing ionized gas in high levels for decades with the company's knowledge. Those, I believe those reactors are down now. Tokyo suburb. Children playing on dirt with huge amounts of radioactivity. Includes alpha particles. Cesium levels so high it prevented identification of other isotopes. And they've got a video on that. Uh, they got a video. Corium from Fukushima causing increase in radon. 222? Question mark. TV, no chance of removing, removing melted nuclear fuel from reactor at Chernobyl. Hundreds of times above airborne radiation limit while digging nearby. And uh, they're planning on building another building to cap the building because the building's getting a crack in it and releasing radiation kind of thing. Uh, these areas will never be habitable again. Uh, 
they've released more footage uh, from the support posts under fuel pool number four. Everything's perfectly under control. Japan medical doctors coming to America to tell if Fukushima is under reported health. Fukushima's underreported health consequences. One year later, Forum resumes Fukushima coverage. Whoop de doo. Jeff um, McCone continues reporting on EPA and Fukushima radiation. And uh, that's about all new they've got going on tonight. I'm going to finish the story on. Uh, I'm going to finish tonight on a story. EXSKF, the blog site. Wholesaler in Tokyo falsified Fukushima cucumbers as made in Iwati and uh, Yamagata last year. It was discovered by, inf by information from a citizen. Any penalty? Nah. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government told the wholesaler to do their best not to do that again. Uh, it was revealed that an intermediate wholesaler of vegetables who buys from a wholesaler and sells to a retailer uh, in in Tokyo had sold cucumbers made from Fukushima Prefecture putting a made in made in uh, these different other places stickers on the packaging um, so we can't even believe the packaging that we're getting now uh, try not to do that again enjoy what you can everybody thanks